Thank you for joining me on this introduction to Microsoft Word 2010 using the JAWS screen reading software. Let's begin. To begin, I will press the Windows key on my keyboard. This will produce the startup menu. Then I will use my down arrow key until I hear Microsoft Word 2010 and when I do, I will select the Enter key to choose. So first, let me press my Windows key. Menu, Manual. search box, edit, edit. type text and edit, edit. field, or press up or down arrow to move through lines. Next, I press my down arrow. Microsoft Word 2010 submenu 112. M. Next, I press my Enter key. Enter, leading menu. Cancel button to activate, press space bar. Document 1 at Microsoft Word, print view, edit. The Microsoft Word 2010 program now appears on screen. The screen is set up as follows. At the very top is the title bar of the current file that you're working on. Currently it says Document 1 Microsoft Word. This is because it is our first document and we have not saved any changes that we have made to date. Below this title bar area are the ribbons. On the ribbons, we have various different tabs. We have the Home tab, the Insert tab, the Page Layout tab, the References tab, the Mailings tab, the Review tab, the View tab, and the Add-ins tab. For those of you that were working with earlier versions of Microsoft Word prior to 2007, you will be more familiar with drop-down menus. On the 2007 and 2010 versions of Word, these menus are no longer available. Instead, we are now presented with ribbons. Let's have a look at the ribbons. To have a look at the ribbon, we press the Alt key to the left of the spacebar. Upper ribbon, Home tab, one of eight, to change ribbon, use left or right arrows, to navigate the, navigate the current, current ribbon, use tab or shift tab, H. JAWS has now told us that we are currently on what's called the Home ribbon. Let's move to the Insert Ribbon. When we move to the Insert Ribbon, this is a ribbon where all the Insert features and commands are grouped together. Let's have a look. So I now press my right arrow. Insert Tab 2 of 8 to change ribbon, use the left or right arrow to navigate the current ribbon, use Tab or Shift Tab I. Next, I'm going to press my right arrow again to move to the Page Layout tab. Page layout tab 3 of 8 to change ribbon, use left or right arrow to navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab P. When I have selected the page layout tab, this now presents me with the page layout ribbon. Each time I press a particular tab, that ribbon overwrites any of the other ribbons that are currently on screen. So I can only have one ribbon at a time on the screen. And this is why it's important to be able to navigate between your ribbons. Let's go back by pressing the left arrow on the keyboard. Enter tab 2 of 8 to change ribbon, use left or right arrow to navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab I. So as you heard, JAWS says the insert tab is 2 of 8. In other words, it is second tab and there is 8 in total. Let me go back to the first tab, which is my home tab. Home tab 1 of 8, to change ribbon, use left or right arrow, to navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab A. Next, I want to have a look at what is on my home tab. So now I'm going to use my down arrow to see what commands are available on my home tab. Listen as I press my down arrow. Lower ribbon, paste split button unavailable, paste left parent, control plus the right parent, 1 of 5. Office clipboard dot 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 button menu 5 of 5. Format paper button 4 of 5. Copy button unavailable 3 of 5. Cut button unavailable 2 of 5. To move through the controls on this ribbon, use tab or shift tab or use the arrow key. Control S. Alt followed by HS. You may think that because cut, copy, format, painter, paste and so on are only so many of 5 that this is all that's available. But in fact that's not the case. This is purely the clipboard group. And on the clipboard group, there are five options. So now what Microsoft have done is they have gathered common commands and put them into groups. I'm going to press my tab key on the keyboard. The tab key on your keyboard is to the left of letter Q. 
So I'm going to press my tab key. Tab, copy button unavailable, 3 of 5. Listen the for the full script written, to be tab, announced. Tab, four, tab, office, tab, five, colon, edit, times, new ROM, to move now I'm on the full script. Is written, use tab or shift tab or use I'm going to tab my way H-F-F. across all the font options that are available on the font script. Listen carefully. Tab, font size, colon, edit, tab, pro font button, three tab, shrink font button, tab, change case button, tab, clear formatting button, tab, bold button, tab, italic button, exit tab, underline split button, tab, strike through button, tab, subscript button, tab, superscript button, tab, text effects button, drop tab, text title, color split tab, font color split button, tab, font dot 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 button menu, 16 of 16. To move through the controls on this ribbon, use tab or shift tab, or use the arrow keys, all followed by HFN. Listen out for the paragraph group as I now press my tab key again. Tab, bold, split button, 1 of 15. Press enter or space bar for more options. So now I'm on the paragraph group. Tab, numbering, split button, press enter, tab, multi-level list button, tab, decrease in debt button, tab, increase in debt button, file tab, sort dot 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 button, 6 of 15, tab, show all button, 7 of 15, tab, align left button, press 8 of 15, tab, center button, 9 of 15, tab, align right button, 10 of 15, tab, justify button, 11 of 15, tab, line and paragraph, spacing, tab, shading, split button, tab, borders, group box, bottom border, split button, tab, paragraph, dot 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 button, menu, 15 of 15. To move through the controls on this ribbon, use tab or shift tab or use the arrow keys, all followed by HPT. When you hear paragraph dot dot dot, this means that there are further commands available, further paragraph options available from this command. You may have heard it previously on the font group as well, font dot dot dot. This means that there are further options available that are not usable or accessible or visible at this point on the ribbon. In order to select further commands, then you would use this option by going in to the dot 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 command. Now what happens if I want to get back to my editing area? Well, I simply press my Alt key to the left of the space bar. So let me do that now. Leaving menu bar, print view, edit. So as you heard, JAWS announced its print view and edit. Once that is announced, you can continue to type. Hello. Now I would like to get back up onto my ribbon area once more, this time just to recap on how to navigate through those tabs. So the first step is press the Alt key to the left of the space bar. Upper ribbon, home tab, one of eight. To change ribbons, use left or right arrows. To navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab, H. So to change ribbons, I press my arrow keys. So now I'm going to press my right arrow key to move to the insert ribbon. Insert tab two of eight. To change ribbons, use left or right arrow. To navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab I. And now I'm going to use my right arrow to navigate to the page layout ribbon. Page layout tab three of eight. To change ribbons, use left or right arrow. To navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab P. I want to go back to the insert ribbon. Insert tab two of eight. To change ribbon, use left or right arrow. To navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab I. So to return back to my insert tab, I simply pressed the left arrow. Now I would like to see what's on this insert ribbon. So next I'm going to press my down arrow. Listen. Lower ribbon, pages group box, cover page button, drop down grid, one of three. To move through the controls on this ribbon sub menu grid, use the arrow keys, all followed by N V. So you heard JAWS announce that this was the Pages group box. So now I'm going to down arrow to have a look at what's on my Pages group. Black page button 2 of 3. Page break button 3 of 3. To move through the black page button 2 of 3. Cover page button drop down grid 1 of 3. Black page button 2 of 3. Page break button 3 of 3. Black page button 2 of 3. Cover page button drop down grid 1 of 3. To move through the controls on this ribbon sub menu grid, use the arrow keys, all followed by N V. So as you heard on the pages group, there are three commands. I'm going to move on next to the tables command. So I'm going to use my right arrow. Black page button, page break button, three of three. To move through the controls on this ribbon, use tab or shift tab, or use the arrow keys. Control return, all followed by N, D. Listen as I move to the tables group. Tables group box, table button drop down grid, one of one. 
To move through the control of this ribbon submenu grid, use the arrow keys, all followed by N, T. Listen as I move to the next group. Illustrations group box, pitch your dot 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 button, one of six. To move through the control of this ribbon, use tab or shift tab, or use the arrow keys, all followed by N, P. So now I'm going to use my right arrow to move through the commands on the illustrations group. Listen. Click dot 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 shapes button drop down grid smart dot 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 button chart dot 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 button screenshot button drop down grid six of six to move through the controls on this ribbon sub menu grid use the arrow keys alt followed by n s c now listen as I go to the links group on the insert tab ready links group box hyperlink dot 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 button one of three to move through the controls on this ribbon use tab or shift tab or use the arrow keys control k alt followed by n i Bookmark dot 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 button to look cross dash reference dot 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 button three of three to move through the controls on this ribbon use tab or shift tab or use the arrow keys alt followed by n r f again listen as I move on to the header and footer group header and footer group box header button drop down one of three to move through the controls on this ribbon sub menu use up or down arrow alt followed by n h and again I'm just going to simply continue to use my right arrow. Footer button drop down two or three to move through the controls on this ribbon sub menu. Use up or down arrow. Alt page number button drop down three or three to move through the controls on this ribbon sub menu. Use up or down arrow. Alt followed by N and U. What happens if I want to get back to my editing area? Well, I simply press my Alt key to the left of the spacebar. Leaving menu bar. Print view. Edit. And I am returned back. How? R. You question. Enter. Now I would like to go back to my home tab. So I press my Alt key to the left of the space bar. Upper ribbon, insert tab, two of eight. To change I press my left, left arrow to, to go back to home. Home tab, one of eight. To change ribbons, use left or right arrows. To navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab. H. Now I'm going to use my right arrow just to hop along and see all the different ribbons that I have available. Ready? Insert tab. Page layout tab three. References tab four. Mailings tab five of eight. Review tab six of eight. View tab seven of eight. Add dash ins tab eight of eight. View tab left seven of eight. To change ribbons, use left or right arrow. Review tabs. Mailings tab five. References tab four. Page layout tab. Insert tab two of eight. Home tab one of eight. To change ribbons, use left or right arrow. To navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab. H. I now need to get back to my editing area. So I press my Alt key to the left of the space bar. And when you do this, the cursor is active at the last place where you have left off. In other words, where you have finished typing previously before you end up to access any of your ribbon commands, then the cursor remains on the correct spot. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Enter. And I will continue on the next video in showing you how to use the commands using the JAWS screen reading software. You've been watching Step by Step by Miriam.